what is going on guys so it was a little bit over a month ago when we received a really interesting message on the CTE battlefield reddit page entailing a brief hiatus from the CTE on all the platforms now this brought a lot of curiosity from the battlefield community wondering what exactly was going on some even speculated that people were in dice moving on from battlefield 1 moving on to the next Battlefield 2018 game. Since the release of the CTE over the summer to the other platforms such as Xbox One and PS4, I know personally I have enjoyed watching and partaking in the development process to the things that go involved with the Battlefield 1 game. I know I myself am not alone with this enthusiasm as DICE has experienced it on their end looking and seeing the record amount of surveys that showed up for our apocalypse session uh, testing that took place over a month ago so that enthusiasm has been there i still see it on my end with my simple how to download the cte tutorial on my youtube page where i will frequently see spikes of viewership go up whenever a cte build gets released so the enthusiasm is still there so to see a message that would say we are leaving having a brief hiatus uh, was a little bit of a downer however reading the actual message itself gave me hope that it would be returning sooner than later well I got some pretty good news for you guys starting today March 13th the CTE has returned so we got actually some pretty interesting stuff to talk about in this build but before I go any further, I do want to make mention, it hasn't quite returned for everyone yet. It's only returned right now for the PC. No news yet on the other two platforms. But if I hear of anything in regards to those, I will be sure to comment it down below. So be sure to check out the comments for any news on what's going on with the Xbox One or the PS4. But with that said... The CTE build, again, has some pretty interesting stuff. Not only does it have uh, some stuff in the build that would resolve maybe some gameplay issues, they're going to be looking at Volga River in the testing environment, checking out some of the flag sectors, as well as looking at maybe some of the tank spawns, and looking into just some more gameplay features. But as well, they will be testing out new weapon variations so you can go check out the list right here on the screen see your maybe favorite gun and possibly see a new weapon variant to it this is again something pretty interesting as we're experiencing more content coming out to battlefield now do keep in mind even though we just experienced our final dlc we still have a monthly update process so in the month of march we should be experiencing more monthly content coming out so not only should it be just bug fixes but hopefully as well experiencing new things such as weapon variants maybe even some more community missions to unlock maybe new melee weapons new uh skins of sorts those are still very popular in the battlefield we'll still keep in new content rolling out there has been discussion about this already in some q a sessions with dice where people have brought this up in the past and dice is still looking into these things so be on the lookout for our monthly update hopefully we'll see something along the lines of these weapon variants as well maybe some new community missions so i know myself definitely still hyped to see some new content coming out and excited again to see the CTE back in action. Interesting enough though, in other news, as the CTE returns, the Incursions competitive mode multiplayer servers go down. So earlier this morning, March 13th, the multiplayer servers for Incursions have gone down. Now DICE was aware of this and tweeted out a response mentioning that they were working on new developments and can't wait to share it with us in the meantime they told us to keep an eye out for q a sessions with notable voices from their competitive development team so that is definitely some pretty interesting stuff they did make mention that the test range where you can expect all of the kits for the incursions competitive mode is still up so if you do have access to that you can still try that out what i find very interesting is as the cte returns yet it doesn't quite return all the way for xbox and ps4 and now we're having some information coming out about some incursions so it's something in the works here hopefully bringing it finally over to be tested out 
on Xbox and PS4. Not quite sure yet, but it is hopefully gearing up for that. We know DICE has tweeted out some pretty interesting images giving us um, some teases about um, them testing this out previously. The leading developer uh, for Incursions has shown us an image where he had the PS4 and Xbox One controllers out with the Incursions built up. We as well have had them give out information where they said they have tested it out for the two platforms in-house. So we do know that they've already had a chance to play with it, but it hasn't quite made it out yet. For us. So it will be interesting to see what's going on here. I will keep an eye out for what they told us to look for, which is that Q&A session. So be sure to check the comments down below for any new information that I hear that comes out. But that's basically it for you guys today. Definitely pretty hyped to see some of the stuff still coming out, even though it's been really a long drawn out process. It is good to know that BF1 is still being looked at. And hopefully, again, this new stuff that will come out will bring a fresh new outlook to the Battlefield 1 game. But that's, again, it for you guys today. Again, I appreciate you guys being here. My name's Livin', and I will catch you guys again later. Peace.